Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We have so much new makeup to play around with today. There's some really, really good and exciting products in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I have literally been waiting to sit down and film this video with you guys because I'm looking at all this makeup and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna include it all in today's video. I might have to do two different testing new makeup videos, but I have some really good stuff. I have the new Melt X Bailey palette. This is the Fatally Yours palette. I do have the new Glam Light Garfield palette, which is so cute. I also have these new NYX Slick Clicks. I have the new Too Faced Lip Oils, which I have been waiting to talk about with you guys. I also have the new Sense Beauty brush set. I have the new Bling Brushes brush set. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna use both of those brush sets, so there's a lot of different things I have in front of me. Also have the new Milani Cream Bronzer as well, so we have some good stuff. So we are gonna dive into it. My eyelids are already primed. I know I look crazy right now. I really wanna use the Melt palette today, but I think I'm gonna save this palette for the next testing new makeup video and I think I'm going to use the blinged brushes in another video but I want to use the Sins Beauty brushes because I've never tried any of the Sins Beauty brushes before so I think I'm going to do that. Also my dilemma I have two new concealers this one is the L'Oreal True Match concealer and then I also have the Revlon full cover concealer so I told you guys, I have a lot of makeup that I can play around with today. Let's dive into these right here. These are the new Too Faced Kissing Jelly Lip Oil Glosses. Now, I have had the pleasure of trying this out for the past month, and I have all six shades that they came out with, and these are so fun. When I first got these, I wasn't sure what to expect. I was like, ooh, what is this going to be like? How is it going to feel? How is it going to smell? They have really fun shades. So we have... This one is bubble gum. We have watermelon, cotton candy, grape soda. Whichever lip oil gloss you're eyeing, just know that they're all universal. So yes, this is blue, but it doesn't really look blue on the lips. This one is cotton candy, and it's actually my favorite one. But whichever one that you choose, they're all going to smell just like what it is. So didn't Hubba Bubba used to have... Was it Hubba Bubba? I feel like Hubba Bubba used to have like a a cotton candy gum, and then they also used to have like a watermelon gum. That's what these two scents kind of smell like. It has a really nice big doe foot, but they all are pretty universal. So you don't need all of the shades. I think one or two, depending on what kind of scent you're vibing with, that's what I would say go with, but they feel really comfortable. Definitely not blue on the lips. I really, really like these. And I do feel like these have a little bit of a thicker formula, but not as thick as like the e.l.f. lip oils or the NYX. All of the scents just trigger a memory for me, so the nostalgia is so real. But my lips were dry, and this is definitely giving me that cushion hydration. Let's dive into this palette. So I think for today, I think for today I want to dive into the greens. These are very, very blendable. I know sometimes milk palettes can be a hit or a miss, but this was definitely a hit for me. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Mercury. These shades are named after poisons, and I don't know how YouTube is gonna vibe with that, so I'm just probably gonna point to the shades. But I feel like I could say this one. This one's Mercury. So I'm thinking, since this one is, wow, look at that. Look at that. I think because since this one is deeper, I'm gonna focus this one on the outer corner. Look at that, I literally just tapped this on, and it's so, pigmented oh my gosh what am i doing what am i doing see i forgot that i had a new brush set so since beauty if you guys are not familiar with this is angelica's beauty brand they did send this over to me in pr so i do have their new face brushes as well as their eye brush set i have never tried their brushes before but i always see her using these in her video so i'm actually really excited to try these out i love how small and detailed these brushes are for packing i think i want to use this brush this one is this one is the EO2 brush. So I'm glad I realized that I had a new brush set. Ooh, I, this one's kind of small, so it fits perfectly in the crease. Oh yeah, this fits perfectly in the crease. I feel like a lot of the brushes in this set are really perfect for detail. So I do like that. You guys see how deep the shade is and how blendable it is? 
If you use this palette, I do feel like your looks are going to be very, very sultry and very deep. But because it is an all matte palette, I do feel like it's a great companion palette. But wow. Next, I'm gonna take this E03 brush, which looks really nice. It kind of is like fluffy, but then if you turn it to the side, it looks tapered. Let's go in with this one. This shade is calling my name. We are gonna use this to blend out this shade that I put down, just to blend the edges and soften it up. Wow, this palette is beautiful. It's been a while since a melt palette really spoke to me. When I saw this palette, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Once again, I am not feeling disappointed. I am, look at that. Look at that blend. Let's take this EO4 brush, which looks really perfect for packing on shadow. I think this shade will be beautiful. And let's just pack this on the lid. It's so interesting to me because this is not a color combo palette that I would pair together, but because it's in this palette, it just makes me want to play around with different color combos that I would not ever ever use. Let's take a little bit of this shade to add some depth to this look. Wow, I might have I might be adding a little bit too much depth because that is very deep. But this is such a beautiful fall palette. Now I'm going to take the EO6 brush and I'm basically just going to blend out that purple shade. Oh yeah, this brush set I like these brushes. Do you see how easy these shadows blend together? I've never done an eye look with these colors before, but I am not mad at it. Okay, so I do feel like this eye look is very different than I would normally go for. It definitely does feel really fall. I am, I don't know, I'm having a lot of fun just playing around with different things. This is definitely not my favorite eye look I've ever done but I am having a lot of fun. I am having a lot of fun just like playing around with what color combos and different things like that. I just feel like it's very grungy, but I wanna see, I'm very curious to see how the rest of the makeup is gonna look once, you know, once everything is done. I don't have any primer or anything like that. I wanted to mention that this set right here is on sale at Sephora. This is the Cali Ray Staycation Prime and Set Duo. So you get the full size of the blurring primer and then you get a nice travel size of the setting spray and it's like $20, which is so nice. I definitely recommend picking that up if you haven't tried it. I love that primer. Before I prime, I wanna go in with this right here from Rode. This is the Glazing Milk. So I have been using this and I really like it. It gives like a glowy, kind of healthy look to the skin. The consistency, as you can see, very runny, but I really like this product because it does add it adds the perfect amount of hydration to the skin. So I really, really like this a lot. I just like that natural hydrated kind of glow that it gives to the skin. But this is a great like makeup prep product. For my primer, like I said, I'm gonna go in with the Cali Ray So Blown Primer. This just adds a really beautiful blur to the skin. You can literally see the blur happening on camera. I love this and it also smells fresh. It kind of smells like oranges, but I love the smell of that. It just smells so good. For foundation today, this one isn't new, but I am gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. In my Glam Light Garfield order, I did pick up the mirror. Look at how cute this mirror is. I almost forgot that I picked this up. I do wanna use this mirror. I should have used it when I did my eyeshadow, but I have so much sitting in front of me that I literally forgot that I had this. I'm loving that Glamlight is putting mirrors in their collection. Look at how cute this is. You guys could literally see yourself. Now this shade is not my perfect shade match. It's so hard for me to find my perfect shade match in drugstore foundations just because I feel like they run really orange and like, I don't know, but this is like the, I've tried like three different shades from this line and this one was the best one. So once all of my makeup is on, it's gonna look pretty good, but just know this is not the perfect shade match. So don't come for me. I love this foundation though. I feel like it gives a really beautiful skin-like kind of look to the skin. I love it. Let's go into this right here. This is new from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. I saw this pop up on Ulta and I was like, 
Okay, I gotta try this out. So I got the shade Mocha Moment. So let's try out one of these Singe Beauty brushes. These are the face brushes from Singe Beauty. Ooh, this one would have been good for my primer today, but I didn't think about that. I might try to use this for concealer just to try it out. This one's kind of dense, but not really, really dense. But let's see. Oh yeah, it is kind of, it's not as dense as I would prefer, but let's see how it blends. Maybe if I tap it on and then blend, but this Milani bronzer kind of feels like it has a matte kind of finish, but I like the shade. The shade, really like. And I do feel like this brush kind of diffuses the product softly, so it kind of helps you control the amount that you pick up. I like that this bronzer dries down to a soft matte finish. You guys know I love my soft matte finishes. I love this shade too. You can definitely build it up if you want to, but I don't want to go super ham. I did go in with multiple layers because I wasn't getting a lot of product with this brush, but that's not a bad thing at all. I really like this bronzer. I feel like it blends really easily, and I love that it dries down to a soft matte finish. Like that, I'm sold. I don't have a new blush to use today, but don't you guys worry. I did see that e.l.f. is coming out with a new liquid blush and best believe I will be getting that blush. But I'm thinking today I wanna go more burnt terracotta. I did pull out my Juvia's Place blush in the shade Lily Love. And then for powder blush, the Pat McGrath in the shade Paradise Venus. Love this blush. Yes, I do go ham. I do go ham, guys. Let's try this one, the FO3 brush. This one is denser than the last one that I tried. So let's see how this is for blush, for cream blush and blending. It's a different shape than I normally go for, but I do feel like with this shape, I can get a more concentrated blend. Oh, okay. That blended really easily. I feel like this was a really good blush color to use with this eye look because girl, girl, and I like this brush. I like this brush for this. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I picked up the shade N8. Now this concealer, oh my gosh, wait a second. This is a radiant concealer. Oh, the, the doe foot's kind of interesting. Look at this doe foot. Almost low-key looks like a sponge, but I can see radiance in this bottle. And that scares me. Wow. Ooh, Tati, do you wanna? Is there mica in here? I can see that radiance. Let's try it on one side. Ooh, let's see. I'm kind of nervous. Let's just see. You never know. You never, ever, ever know. This is the FO2 brush, which is looking like the House Labs. The Singe is looking pretty similar to House Labs, but I do feel like the House Labs has a lot more bristles but I'm excited to use this. Okay, yeah, it's very lightweight. Very lightweight concealer. I already love this brush. It reminds me of the House Labs, so I, I love it. Also, this concealer, low-key, it's really natural, but it looks really pretty. It is definitely radiant, guys. It is definitely radiant, but let's go in with a second layer to see if this is buildable. I won't know how it wears. I'm filming this video super, super late in the day. It's like five o'clock. So I won't be able to do a wear test, but you guys know I will update you guys on this concealer. Love this brush, because you can easily get in there and blend, but this is really radiant. I am usually not one for radiant concealers, but I do feel like this will be a really pretty everyday concealer. Like this is actually really pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some on the forehead. You get a lot of product though that comes out. This brush, by the way, is truly a winner. I like this concealer. Look at how easily this blends. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my whole forehead. Maybe this, this might not have been a good idea because it is a radiant concealer, but hey, why not? We are testing out the makeup. I'm gonna go over with my sponge a little bit to kind of blend this in a little bit better. 
This is nice. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and just use this concealer. Whenever I film the next testing new makeup, I'm gonna use this concealer here. But because I actually kind of like this, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole face. You guys see how much comes out though on this applicator? A lot comes out. Now, moment of truth, let's see how this sets. So I'm gonna go in with my Lunar Beauty setting powder in the shade medium. Let's see how this sets. This is really natural. So if you like natural concealers, you might really like this one. Ooh. Oh, she's, it's cute. I like it. I'm shook and I don't like radiant concealers. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my favorite blush from Pat McGrath, which is Paradise Venus. Beautiful everyday blush here. I've like used mine so much, but it's so pretty. If you're looking for a beautiful burnt terracotta everyday blush shade, this one, this is that blush for you. This is the blush for you. Look at how pretty that is. I love using this blush color with green shadow because it's so pretty. I'm gonna use one of the new e.l.f. lip liners. This is in the shade Coco. When I tell y'all, e.l.f. has been killing it this year. They're coming out with liquid blushes now and they're also coming out with literally their own version of these. Basically the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. Every brand is coming out with their own version of something like that. And we have these from NYX. I did upload a TikTok trying out some of the shades from this new release from NYX. This is the Click Slick Fat Oil Lip Balms. So these are not like the lip oils. These are more like a lip balm. So if you didn't really like the lip oils and you prefer more of a balm kind of formula, I think you're really gonna like these. I don't think that these are a dupe to the Tarte. I know a lot of people are saying that they are, but I do. I just feel like the Tarte is much more glossy. The Tarte has that plumping, cooling effect with some of them. I just feel like these are not really like a gloss. These are more of like a balm. And I just feel like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip is more of a gloss and a stick. I did place a second order and picked up two other shades that I didn't try in my short form content. So I picked up this shade right here called Trending Topic which I wanna swatch because I don't know how this one looks, but it is a click pin. I thought this shade was gonna be very similar to the Fenty Hot Chocolate shade. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it is. As far as the color, yeah, these shades are very similar. Of course, this one, the Fenty is more of a gloss, but I feel like they both have like those gold reflect in them. Mm, kind of. They're kind of similar. And then we have this shade called In A Mood, which this one's like a berry. Oh yes. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. We have this shade right here called No Filter Needed. This one is like a pinky nude. Ooh, I like all of these shades. I thought this one was gonna be clear, but it's actually not. It has like gold reflect in it, which is so interesting to me. It is, it's like kind of clear, but it's not really. It kind of has like iridescent shimmer in it. So it's interesting. This one is called Main Character. I think I'm gonna go in with this deep one called, what is this, Trending Topic, because it's a really pretty brown. Oh yeah. It's giving Fenty Hot Chocolate. The only thing I don't like with some of these shades is that this one has like shimmer in it. So it kind of looks, metallic on the lips. First round that I got, I tried them with the shimmer and I wasn't like, ugh, wasn't vibing with it because it was giving off this like metallic kind of vibe and I wasn't a fan. I much prefer the ones that don't have any shimmer in them. Let's just do this one. Does this one have shimmer? A little bit. Ugh, let's just do this shade. This one is called No Filter Needed. I wish that they didn't put shimmer in these. Oh, see, I like this one better. Okay, so I went ahead and changed my shirt to match the vibes of everything. I feel like this just brings the look together a lot more. Let's get into my first impressions on the new product that I tried today. Starting off with the Melt Eyeshadow Palette. Like I said, I have tried this once before. I really love how blendable the mattes are. I think this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Like I said before, not a lot of melt palettes have really caught my eye. But when I saw this one, I was like, wow. I literally don't have any other palette like this in my collection. So I was like, girl, add to cart. So I picked it up and I'm so happy that I did because this matte formula is 
beautiful. I love that I've just been creating looks that I've never done before. This is also such a beautiful, and when I say beautiful, I mean beautiful fall palette. So Bailey did an amazing job on this. Everything about this palette just screams her and I think it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I do wanna talk about this L'Oreal concealer because it actually surprised me. I actually really like this. Now I don't know how it's gonna wear, so of course I'll update you guys. I am going out later tonight, so I will be keeping an eye out on this concealer to see how it wears. But for first impressions, it's beautiful. It looks natural and I don't really have a lot of natural concealers in my collection. A lot of my concealers are full coverage so it is kind of nice to have something different in the mix for every day. Love how beautifully this pairs with the fresh wear. Sense Beauty face brushes. The brushes that I've tried, I think I tried three brushes today and I really liked all three. They all did something different. Looking at this brush set, this is not your typical brush set I feel like. Usually we get like a really big fluffy brush and some other types of shapes for brushes, but I just feel like this is very different. Like, look at this brush right here. It's really, it's an angled brush, but usually we see something a lot bigger. But this one is like perfect for highlighter. I didn't wear highlighter today. I wasn't really feeling highlighter today, but if I was wearing highlighter, I would totally use this brush for that. Also for blush too, I feel like this would really go beautifully for blush. Matter of fact, let me, let me add a little more blush. Do I need more blush? No, but like, let me just go ahead and add some more. Like, I, one thing I do love about all of these brushes that I tried is that it really does give you precision. Like, you get a lot of precision with these brushes. The eye brushes I love because they're perfect for detail work. We'll definitely be using these from now on. This brush set is perfect. So congratulations to Angelica for a beautiful, beautiful collection. She really gave us high quality, top tier makeup brushes. Highly recommend these brushes. You also can get them individually if there's a couple that you want and you don't really want the whole brush set but I really really like these Milani bronzer I like this a lot as well this is very creamy and you all know that I love a cream to powder kind of formula and that's kind of what this was giving it gave a nice soft matte kind of finish to the skin I feel like it definitely bronzed it up so I will definitely continue to reach for this then we have these lip balms from NYX like I said, I'm not a fan of the more shimmery shades because they almost look metallic on the lips, but the shades that have a little bit less shimmer in them, I really like, like this one that I ended up going with. I like more subtle, toned down kind of shades, but those metallic -y ones, I'm not a fan of, but there are so many different shades to choose from. But these are for those of you who prefer having lip balms instead of lip glosses and lip oils. They're comfortable and they really do feel like a lip balm. Lastly, the Too Faced lip oils. You guys, the nostalgia is definitely, definitely real. You're a fan of lip oils. You're gonna love this. These smell and taste like whatever shades you're eyeing. Anyone that you're eyeing, expect it to smell and taste just like it. All of the shades are universal. I really, really love them. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.